Hello everybody and welcome to episode 12 of season 2 of Let's Play Battlefield Yugoslavia. We are once more fighting in ground combat operations against the forces of the KLA. And us usual, we are more than prepared to put their forces in their place. We will be driving into battle and giving it our all as we fight to put an end to this terrorist scourge once and for all. Although the NATO forces have begun to bomb us, we remain undaunted and unshaken in our quest for victory. And today we shall show this to these scumbags here, but also to the world. Some international leaders of great repute have already begun to express their solidarity with our suffering, including such famous household names as Gaddafi in, in Libya, Saddam Hussein in Iraq, and Robert Mugabe in Zimbabwe. Now unfortunately a KLA ambush caught us off guard in that stronghold, but we are going to fight anyway. We are going to fight to the last man. And we lost that fight quicker than I expected. Let's get back into action. We'll put on this wonderful looking Serbian cap, the latest in the Yugo Boss collection and get ready to tear these Albanian scumbags a new one. Unfortunately, they seem to have superiority in numbers. Though we'll change that soon enough. We're going to get onto this wonderful, powerful looking riverboat. And we're going to slowly make our way to the front lines. And once we do get there, we are going to make these terrorists regret their birth. They are going to regret every single thing they have done as part of the KLA, and even more. So let's get in and go into battle. <clears throat> While we're waiting for this boat to arrive, I thought of a short song to sing. I'd like to get you on a slow boat to Belgrade all to myself alone get you and keep you in chains forevermore leave all your comrades dead on a faraway shore down on the Duna, land of the Yugoslav, breaking your legs with stones. Oh, I'd love to get you on a slow boat to Belgrade, all to myself alone. And with that little ditty over, we've got to actually stop this riverboat from beaching itself. Please tell me in the comment section what you thought of the song, and if you can suggest any other lyrics, I'd appreciate them a lot. Now we're going to actually use this slow boat to Belgrade to teach these ship tar scumbags a lesson. Unfortunately, it is not only as heavily armed as a floating bunker, but also as maneuverable as one. We aren't getting anywhere, and it's pissing me off. So I'm gonna reverse, reverse, and reverse some more. And finally we can begin a straight course. We can do this! 
so long as we don't beach this goddamn ship. If anything, I'm just going to steer this thing backwards. Because after all, that's where all the weapons are. I'm getting quite angry right now, and I'm feeling very humiliated. I'll admit that much. So we are going to go around. Or we aren't going to go anywhere. Anyway. Are the KLA forces anywhere in sight? Because I've got a friend of mine to introduce them to. Not an especially little friend, but a good one anyway. Unfortunately, we didn't cause any casualties, so let's go down there and get up close and personal with these terrorists, secessionist sons of whores. We will not allow these dogs to get the advantage over us. Not on my watch, anyway. Unfortunately, the, the long-range combat isn't the exact speciality of my Zastava M70 rifle. Though so seeing that these KLA cunts are blowing themselves up already anyway. There's little need for me to waste my ammunition now, is there? We have a large concentration of troops beginning an assault on the KLA positions. I believe that we can do this. I believe that we can triumph. I am confident in our abilities and I am going to charge into battle alongside my Priyatli. We have now cut off the enemy forces from their main base. And as they attempt a counteroffensive wherever it may be from, we will put them down for good. First things first. We'll get our brethren here to follow us into battle to take this KLA camp, which they have somehow managed to ignore. In two seconds, it shall be ours. There we go. Now we shall begin... ...to strike the death blow. Kosovar Liberation Army, your knell has nulled. Because the Serbian Special Forces are at your doorstep and ready to kick you out for good. Now, what weapons do we have at our disposal? We have a grenade, a pistol, a knife, and a Zastava rifle. Even the Zastava rifle on its own would be enough for me. It'll do the job, that's for sure. Now, let's keep our head low. And ambush these sons of bitches as they try to cross the river. They haven't noticed us yet. Well, I bet they will soon enough. Ramush Kochiju has been dispatched. Now let's get more of them. Muhmet and this guy right here get ready for hell. Damn, they've come in force. And it seems that they aren't all that fond of retreating. I honestly don't understand what's motivating them to launch such ridiculous offensives. After all, what could even be going through their head? Besides my Zastava bullets, of course. Could it be drugs? Could it be Islam? I have no idea whatsoever. But whatever it is, it's making these sons of Satan act like complete 
and utter retards. Now they've retaken one of our camps. And we accidentally killed Comrade Bogdan Illich. It seems that our marksmanship is too good. And so we plummet to the ground in shame. But we'll be back. Mark my words. We will make the KLA bleed. And they shall bleed to death. If I have my way. So we're going to stage one more attack on these corrupted poor souls. And we are going to make it count. First we'll stop this attempted offensive of theirs. And now we shall ride for it. Like the true Serbian knights that we are! Beep beep, motherfuckers! It's the Serbske Specialsne Jedniscze coming true! And we aren't going to put on the brakes for anybody! Not even President Bill Clinton himself! That foul little demon! Adulterer and murderer! Who has given millions of dollars and countless guns and bullets to these KLA demon spawn, for lack of a better word. Now let's lay down the law the old fashioned way. And I do not mean with a rocket through my windshield. With that fiasco ended, I think that I will be putting an end to the first part of this battle. I apologize for it being short, but the mod itself doesn't have as many levels as the Bosnian War one did. So I'll have to economize on episodes and on time. Nonetheless, I hope that you're enjoying the series so far. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you are enjoying the series, and to subscribe to my channel. I've been the Nerd Gamer, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye for today.